Hi, from Pogo Bounce House. Uh, we're opening up one of our splash water parks today. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through what you get um, so that you know when it comes in the mail uh, what you're looking for. So everything is gonna come in one box. You are going to have obviously your unit. It's gonna be uh, wrapped very tight and then um, it will be in a wrapping to protect it. You will have a storage bag for after you use it so you can set this aside. You will have a box that has the blower that you need. So you're gonna get your zoom blower. In this little bag, you will have the stakes. Stakes are mandatory in setting up your unit for safety. You will also have an instruction guide to show you how to use the stakes, as well as some patch kits. So down the road, if you get some wear and tear, um, you can go ahead and fix the unit as well as some thread for, for also repairs. You will also get the water system. So I will show you how to connect this. Um, it screws onto a standard hose. So as long as you have a water supply in your yard or wherever you're setting this up, you will be able to use the water feature on this. And this particular unit also comes with a bag of play balls. It does have a small ball pit um, connected to it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this, we're gonna get this unit set up. So first, obviously, you're gonna wanna get it all unwrapped. will come tied. I'm going to move this to my tarp that I've already laid out and get it set up. You just want to unroll your unit. Gonna unfold it. As you can see, it's not a particularly large unit. It can easily be set up by one person. But we do always recommend that you keep a tarp underneath your units. It's not just to protect the unit, but also to protect your grass. So inside your blower box, you're gonna have your blower here. They will be designated by the size of blower you need for the unit. So um, if you have any questions about which blower you can attach, um, I would call customer service, reach out to us on you know, messaging, send us an email, anything. Um, using too much horsepower can actually um, rip seams or hurt your unit. So please use the blower that is designated for your unit. It does come with an instruction manual if you have any questions. So at this point, I'm gonna show you how to actually set up the unit. So we're gonna take our blower over here to our blower chute. Blowers are pretty easy. Unit's gonna have the elastic. It's gonna go right around the chute of your unit. And then you're going to take this extra piece here. And you're gonna give it a really good tie. It's gonna hold it in place so it's double secure. Over here, you're gonna have an additional chute. This chute is for if you have a blower that is not standard, does not come with the unit, it might have a bigger chute. And you can use this then. All you want to do is if you are not using it, same thing. You want to use your strings here. Give it a good tie off so that the air isn't escaping. I like to go around it twice. And now you've got your second blower sealed up. So now we're gonna get it inflated. So you just have to put the switch right here and you can see automatically starts filling with air. This process is, is pretty rapid. You just give it a couple minutes and, and it'll, be, uh, it'll be ready to go. So let's just walk around um, and then we're going to get the water unit set up and I will show you all the features of this particular unit, which is one of our more popular. It has um, lots of different activities built within it. 
so it's great for multiple children um, and it's a water unit so all summer long. So staking is one of the most important things when setting up your unit. It is for the safety of children, anyone playing on it, um, the unit should not be set up in high winds. Um, but even on a nice day like today, you need to make sure that you are staking. We will provide the correct number of stakes for your unit. So they all need to be used. I'm going to show you how to stake one, and then we're going to go around and stake them all. You want to find these loops here. Put it through the hoop, right into the ground. And though you probably don't need a sledgehammer to this degree, for the sake of this video. Right into the ground like that. So this is your hose system for making the water unit work. So the first thing you're going to want to do is give it an unwind. This very long you're going to have two shorter hoses here and one longer hose. Your longer hose is for the slide. Your shorter hoses are for the water cannons. So we're going to start with the slide. When setting up the slide, you want to <laughs> deflate your unit just enough to reach and put your Velcro on. Very easy. You're going to follow along the Velcro straps with your hose. Now, if you're really tall, you might be able to do this without deflating it. I am not. These are just going to hold it in place and carry it all the way around the unit to the front. So we're going to turn it back on, let it inflate. You want to make sure that there's enough slack here that it can go all the way around. And we're going to keep assembling here. divide. You're going to want to go here and then up the water cannon and this is how the water will be able to come out. You're going to keep going with the rest of your tubing the same way. Same thing's gonna happen here. You're gonna secure it at the base. Then you're gonna go up the cannon. Cannon side. You're gonna put this up here and then you will do the final securing of the unit. So the last thing, once you have all of your tubing in place, I missed one. Don't feel bad if you miss one, there's a lot. You're gonna just want to attach this pink end to your hose and you're all set to turn on the water. And now you have your backyard kids wet splash all set up.